Hey folks, thanks for joining me for another sort of look into creating my Star Wars room. Uh, yeah, so it's already been a week and uh, I feel like I've made quite a lot of progress here. Um, you know, I've spent a good day um, last week and sort of just organizing all my tubs. You know, I've got all the boxes of books out. There is floor space. We are happening. That is actually systematically chaotic. <laughs> I know everything there is in a big pile, but it's it's there as a system. So that's under control, I promise. Um, and there's nothing there that's worth a lot of money in that pile. So it's all good. It's all good. Uh, so yeah, there's, I've got a little bit of a corner here. Um, this sort of corner of the room is gonna end up being sort of almost studio space, you know? I've got, I've got a little desk there behind the chair. Um, that is going to be just sort of for my live streams and stuff like that. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I have managed to pick up on Facebook Marketplace some bookshelves. Uh, just a couple of billies. I've decided to go with the, the black oak this time instead of white. Um, just, I don't know. I just want to go with a different vibe this time with my books. I've always had white billy bookshelves. Um, so I, yeah, decided to go with something a bit different this time. And you know, instead of paying the the sort of hundred and twenty bucks they are like here, I think, I think even eighty or ninety for the half ones and hundred and twenty for the big ones. Um, I've picked both of them up for eighty five bucks. So the bottom one was twenty five, the other one was sixty. Um, so yeah, already already getting out of this a lot cheaper than I was hoping. So that's good. Um, this big unit here, I've started getting a couple of, uh, might have a look. So it's nice to sort of have these on display. Um, whether they stay in these cubes, I'm not yet sure. Uh, Ikea here in Australia at least seem to have discontinued the Detolf, um, units, which is a bit of a pain. They have a new one, um, which seems to be a bit smaller according to the measurements. Um, so yeah, not sure what we're going to do there yet. So... This unit will will suffice for now, uh, for sort of odds and ends, um, my hot toys. And yeah, as I get more space for books over here, uh, this shelf will sort of come closer to the door once all these figures are uh, over here on this wall, which this whole sort of space here where all these tubs are here in front of this door, because the door can actually slide behind um, shelving. So that, that curtain will come down. I've just got to hang in there for now. Um, but yeah, this whole wall um, is pretty much going to be for figures. I can sort of see maybe that corner on that wall being for my Black Series. And that leaves quite a lot of room for, you know, some quite nice shelving for my three and three quarter collection. So, and then, yeah, with those shelves um, that I'm thinking about for my figures, they actually come with end caps. So sort of on the sides, you can actually get pegboards for them. So I thought about getting a pegboard or two um, and being, have, being able to display all my all my carded figures hanging on pegs. I think that would look really, really cool. Um, and then obviously like ceiling above that because I don't foresee the shelves going up to the height of the door. So I do have quite a bit of space. So I can get some 3M hooks and hang a bit of artwork, which I previously haven't been able to do. Um, yeah, I still have some prints down here and in there in that box did just the landlord has left this coffee table which has a glass top so that may house something <laughs> I'm not sure yet it may just end up being a coffee table for my um for my area here so basically with the books that I've got set up this is all sort of this sort of half shelf here is basically reference um, art books all that kind of thing and over here, I've sort of gone with my Canon novel collection, sort of a few bits and pieces, you know, High Republic up the top, some, some of the trilogies, just moving down. I left, intentionally left some space because I remember what I'd used uh, with my previous room is I had two, two wide bookshelves and then I had a tall skinny one which was the half 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 width of, of one of these big billies. Um, so yeah, my, my final one, whether it goes on this side here, in that corner, if I could just... So yeah, if 
if it doesn't go there, which would look nice next to the chair, um, or into that corner. So this half one is sort of um, centered. Um, sort of leaning towards there, and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there. I am thinking about my media, um, given all my DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs, records, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I, I may end up getting two more of these billies, uh, one for that side, one for that side. They may have to shuffle across that way just to fit it in that corner. Um, but I think I've got it pretty, pretty close uh, once that cabinet is moved all the way across. I expect it to sort of be, there's the light switch. Um, so this will sort of come all the way up to here. Um, and I may actually do that sooner rather than later. Um, it just means moving these tubs out and putting them in the corner over here somewhere. So that may be my job for this week. Um, and yeah, I'm just sort of keeping an eye on Facebook Marketplace for for more Billy shelves. I know mostly they're white, the ones that are being listed up there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be persistent and just sort of hang out and try and get these as cheap as possible. Um, this one I literally picked up about an hour and a half ago. Um, it is missing the veneer strip from the top, but that's an easy replacement. Um, let's go to the hardware store and just and just pick up a veneer strip just to iron onto that, just so it looks nice and clean again. Um, but yeah, aside from that, this is what we've got going. Um, it's got some boxes of... So I have been just sort of going through, getting things out of boxes, grouping it together into smaller tubs. Um, so you've got sort of miniatures, Hot Wheels, uh, the, the little micro chips. Carded figures, more carded figures. <laughs> uh, I've got, got a stack of display risers that will come in handy at some point. Uh, yeah, some of the bigger ships, like I said, it's organised in my own special way. Um, <laughs> but yeah, as I get more shelving, more of these will be able to go up. I'm thinking up there, that's the barge in there. Once I get the barge down onto the coffee table, some of those bigger ships can stand up there, especially like the Slave 1. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll sort of see. We're, we're ticking along nicely. I'm enjoying what's going on. Like I said, got the chair, did the first live stream on the weekend, just gone. A lot of fun. Um, yeah, looking forward to getting some advice uh, on lighting and you know, the fact that I have this whole corner down here um, means I can sort of, I can get some of those big box lights that sort of, and you know, they're, they're not gonna impede on the collection at all. Um, but they're also something I can just sort of stick aside, fold up, put in the corner and be done. Um, so that'll be cool. Um, so hopefully I can get that happening soon. But yeah, I do have a lot of sorting to do. Deciding what I'm going to keep. As you can sort of see in the pile, I've got some of those like 12 inch shampoo bottle figures. Don't know whether I'm going to keep them. Um, I really do need to sort of narrow my focus in terms of my action figures. Uh, whether I want to keep all that stuff. And uh, yeah, like I said, even the even these little little diecast diecast ships. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna hang on to them or try and move them. Just sort of focus on the Black Series and TVC when I can afford them, because <laughs> the prices are going up. But yeah, it's nice to have um, nice to have my hot toys out on display. These are the only three I have now. Um, I used to have like Luke Skywalker, old Luke, Han, old Han, um, and a couple others, Kylo Ren, Ray. Um, but yeah, I sort of obviously had to purge them at some point just to make some funds. Um, but these are ones I've been able to pick up the last sort of six months. Um, that was a birthday gift to myself. That one I bought off one of the lads at work um, just because he decided he didn't want it, but he put in the pre-order. Um, and instead of him losing his deposit, I said I'd grab it. So really glad I did. And this one, who was an absolute no-brainer, had to get Jesse for you know reasons. And there's the uh, TVC and the Black Series. So yeah, very very happy with with what I've been able to achieve there. So yeah, there's a uh, yeah, it's, it's going well. It's going well. I'm very happy. Um, something's fallen on the floor. There's lots of stuff on the floor. But um, yeah, be very happy with how things are going in here. It's looking good. It's starting to shape up. Once all the books are out, that's a lot of stuff out of the way um, and on display. And it 
I'm happy, I've always enjoyed displaying my books. Um, and particularly knowing how much space I have and how much I will need, I will definitely be looking forward to uh, expanding that collection as well. Um, and yeah, hopefully showcasing a few other little bits and pieces that I used to do um, sort of in between. So it's on its, it's on its way back. We are here. This is uh, round two. The cat has come to say hello and she's off again. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. Let me know how you, what you think. Um, any uh any recommendations um yeah please let me know otherwise i'm just going to keep sharing as i sort of make dents in this ring and um whether it's weekly i'm not sure i've just i've done a fair bit this week so i feel like i've achieved a bit um but yeah do have like these are my legends legends books here and I'll, i do have you know couple areas deep with uh, Legends books so you know that's not going to take up a whole lot of space on another Billy so I don't know I may be able to do the media thing in one I'm not sure yet obviously I do have my comic book collection and my sort of keepsake folders um, actually before I go that's my magazines I am still missing a few items which I believe are still in storage a couple of boxes got missed because I do have my gigantic um, Ralph McQuarrie two-volume book, book set um, and my gigantic stack of Star Wars Insider magazines, as well as probably a few other books, I imagine. Um, so I'm going to have to go down to my parents' storage container and uh, see if they're in there somewhere. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in, folks. Um, yeah, we'll try and have an update again for you very soon. But until then, may the force be with you, always.